Hello to you students, how are you? It's me, Titi Dewi. I will be a lecturer for introduction of English literature. As you know, because of the pandemic of COVID-19 nowadays, we will have online class for this semester. Hopefully, you can enjoy and still have passion during the teaching learning process. Don't forget, keep your social distancing, and keep playing. Okay, back to our material, Introduction to English Literature. The first meeting is we will talking about the element of literature. First of all, I want to ask you, what is literature? This on Oxford, literature is pieces of writing that are valued as works of art, especially novels, plays, and poems. Mary Webster said, the body of written works produced in practical language, country, or age, or the body of writings on a particular subject. Studying about literature is very important. Do you know what is the importance of literature? Literature improves your command of language. It teaches you about life, cultures, and experiences of people in other parts of the world. It gives you information about other parts of the world which may you never be able to visit in your lifetime. It entertains you and provides useful occupation in your free time. It makes you a wiser and more experienced person by forcing you to judge, sympathize with, or criticize the characters you read about. It helps you compare your own experiences with the experiences of other people. It gives information which may be useful in other subjects, for example in geography, science, history, social studies, and so on. The kinds of literature. Generally, literature is divided into two kinds, fictional and non-fictional literature. Fictional literature is imaginary composite writing of work of art. What is meant to provide information, education, and entertainment to the reader. In other words, fictional literature is based on the writer's imagination rather than reality. Non-fictional literature is factual writing or written work that it gives fact that can be provided as provides real places, events, characters, times, or reality rather than imaginary things. The example of fictional literature in good place, poems, short stories, novels, oral literature, and songs. The example of non-fictional literature include autobiographies, biographies, essays, diaries, and journals, magazines, newspapers, subject textbooks such as in geography, history, and civic education. In our study of literature in English, however, we shall concentrate on fictional literature as exemplified above. The example of fictional literature, poetry. The famous poetry in literature, for example, is No Man is an Island by John Donne. For the novel, Who Doesn't Know About Harry Potter by novel written by Rowling or Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Yeah, those are the examples of literature in novel. Yeah, another example, fable, lion and mouse. I'm pretty sure that all of you have heard about lion and mouse. You have learned, you have heard about lion and mouse when you were childhood. Childhood, I mean. Fairy tale. Christian Anderson. When we listen about its name, Christian Anderson, so we will remember the story about 
Hansel and Gretel, Little Mermaid. Most of his written text is about fairy tales. Hans Christian Andersen is the master of fairy tale. The last is drama. The master of drama for me is William Shakespeare. You know, two of the famous drama of his work are Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet. Hamlet is inspired by the death of his daughter, Hamlet. The daughter was died when she was eight years. Hamlet taken from Hamlet, one of his twin daughters. Okay, student, that's the highlight of the meeting one of introduction of English literature. Do you have any question? Just ask me and we will see on next meeting. Thank you for your attention and keep healthy. Thank you.